We are gearing up for the holiday season and whether you're planning a Halloween party or a party for one of the more traditional end of year holidays, you might have seen something like this, a little cocktail smoker and you might be wondering how best to use it to really add a bit of smoke and a bit of excitement to some of the cocktails you make at home for yourself or for your guests. Well, I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd and I'm going to show you three ways I have of using this to get different amounts of smoke into a cocktail, whether I want a little bit of smoke or a lot of smoke, and it gives kind of different presentations to the cocktail. So let's get right into how to use this little cocktail smoker. First off, it is essentially just a little wooden chimney top that you will put on top of a glass to kind of get the smoke into the cocktail. It does have little cutouts there so the smoke can travel through the center and down into the glass and then air can kind of flow out. It does have a little kind of a mesh grate that you put in there and that you put the wood chips on top of. My one came with a lot of spare ones so it does kind of last for a long time and my one came with four different tins of wood chips and I've tried them all, the whiskey oak, the cherry, the apple and they all kind of taste roughly the same. You do notice a little bit of difference like the X whiskey barrels, those whiskey oak ones they're a bit maybe deeper and darker, the cherry and apple maybe a little sweeter, but by and large, you're still gonna get a lot of smoke into your cocktail. But when you're using this, you're not really gonna be using just this, you also have to light those little wood chips on fire. And for me, I found something like this, a little Cook's blowtorch is invaluable because if you try and use a standard like lighter where you push it and you hold it down, that flame is gonna come back up at you. But if you use something like this, that flame comes out straight. Whether it's like a jet lighter or one of those smaller little kind of gun looking ones, something like this, very handy, makes it a little easier to use and obviously makes it a little safer because you don't want to be burning yourself and adding that kind of smoke. You want to be adding the smoke from the wood chips. So I'm going to give you a little demonstration of how this little chimney works. There's a few other types on the market, some very fancy looking ones, but I like this. It's simple, it's easy. You can just bring it with you in your pocket if you're going to another party or you can just kind of break it out. You don't need a whole, I'll put some pictures of some really fancy ones up there, but they have this whole system. You don't need that. You just need a little chimney and a little lighter. So you put in a little pinch of kind of those wood chips. You don't need a huge amount of the wood because if you add in too much wood, it'll kind of block the smoke from going down into the glass and it'll instead just go up. So turn on your blowtorch and just kind of light it like this. And as you'll see, that smoke is going to sit down into the glass, just like that. You let it kind of sit for a couple of seconds. It fills up the glass. Obviously then these little chips then will stop burning. So then it's safe to take it off. And when you take it off, you get this lovely kind of presentation where you get that smoke coming up, coming out as someone lifts it up. The smoke kind of stays in the glass, but as they move it, it does kind of come out. So it does make for a really, really nice presentation. And of course you can just hold it like this and the cocktail, the smoke will stay in it. So if you're kind of bartending at home, you can do a little bit of a show where you have the smoke and obviously it does eventually dissipate out of the glass. But I did say there were three ways I like using this kind of little gadget to add smoke to a cocktail. And I'm gonna start off with the lightest, the softest way of adding smoke into your cocktail, whether it's an old fashioned or something else. You just get your glass without the cocktail. And again, you add a little pinch of your little wood chips into there. Turn on your blowtorch, blowtorch it up, get a nice good flame going and that way you get the smoke into there and you just kind of let this sit for a couple of seconds. You don't have to leave it for a very long amount of time, you just need to get that smoke onto the glass because what we're doing here is we're smoking the glass, not the cocktail. So we're going to let that sit in, let that smoke, the little bits of smoke particles kind of stick to the outside of the glass, take it off like that and then when we pour in our cocktail, this is just plain old water. It kind of displaces that, but you do get still kind of a nice presentation. You get a little bit of that smoke, not as much smoke, but it's much more subtle when you're using that smoke because it's not on the cocktail. It's only a smaller amount of smoke. And then when you lift up and you drink it, it's like a little hint. That is just plain old water. I'm not gonna be making three old fashions for three different ways of making the cocktail, but it's just light. It's as if you took like a, a lightly smoky whiskey. You take a bourbon, you add do that to it, you get a little bit of smoke into the cocktail and it gives you more of a subtle kind of throughout the drink smokiness. 
But what are the other two ways of using this little cocktail smoker? Well, the one you'll probably see most common, this gives you a good hit of smoke, is to get your glass with your cocktail in it, put the smoker up on top again, add a little pinch of uh, chips in there and light it up. Once you get it lit, that smoke will just kind of fade down and it'll sit. And as you see, it will start settling onto the top layer of the cocktail. Again, that's just plain old water, but it will settle into that cocktail and you're gonna get the smoke kind of sitting rather than it being like kind of floating in the glass and little bits of it sticking to the side of the glass, much more of it is gonna stick to the cocktail itself. So it's gonna stick on top of the cocktail and give you this kind of smoky layer up top and obviously some of it is going to stick to the side of the glass. So you're still gonna get a little bit of a subtle smoke addition with a big bang smoke on the top layer of your cocktail. When you take it off, you still get that nice kind of presentation, but when you take it up and you drink it, it's much more smoky. The top layer has this kind of heavyweight smoke. The bottom of the cocktail, if you're making something like an old fashioned, it won't be overpowering. It won't be super strong, but that initial hit is gonna get you a lot of smoke right up front. And sometimes that can be a bit off-putting. If you want more of a subtle flavor, go for the first kind. If you want something a bit more in your face, a bit more punchy, definitely having that smoke up on top of the cocktail definitely gives you much more weight into it. But what about the last kind of way to use it? The way to get the most smoke into your cocktail. Well, that is actually gonna be a little different because we're gonna be using a shaker tin. This isn't a way you'll see used a lot, but it will give you a huge amount of smoke into your cocktail, It'll really let it penetrate into your cocktail. If you wanna see, I have a smoked whiskey sour where I use this technique. I'll put a link to that up there or a link down below where I have a smoked whiskey sour where I really got the smoke through the cocktail, through the foam, and it really came out very, very well. So for this technique, you get your shaker tin and you build your cocktail as per normal. You put in your ingredients into that cocktail shaker and then you put your little wood chimney up on top. You get it up there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna smoke the cocktail shaker itself and then we're gonna shake the cocktail. So again, just get that in there. And for this one, you do wanna be a little careful that you capture as much smoke as possible because when you lift this off, you're gonna make a little breeze. It's gonna maybe lift a bit of the smoke out. So we get our big tin and we capture as much of that smoke as possible into there and then we shake it. You get all that smoke up into the cocktail and then you get a little bit that comes out at the end, but most of it is into the water. It is actually in the cocktail itself. So I'm gonna give this a little sip. And that is way, that is way more intense. It has all those kind of smoky notes you'd expect from a smoked cocktail. It's just deeper, it's heavier, it's in the smoke, it's in the drink itself, it's in the liquid. And that gives you a really powerful layer of smoke flavor in your cocktail. So whether you're looking for a light smoke, a medium smoke or a heavy smoke, this is how I use my cocktail smoker to get different levels of smoke in my cocktails. If you have a different type of technique that you like to use, let me know down in the comments below. Like I said, I'm Matt, I'm the whiskey nerd. I put out whiskey reviews every Wednesday. I put out whiskey cocktails every Friday and every now and then I put out different videos kind of like this talking about whiskey, talking about whiskey tips and tricks on Monday. So if you want to see more like that, make sure you hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Sláinte.